I'm Darren at Go Engineer, and I have a problem. You see, my MakerBot here is quiet, and that means it's not helping me solve any problems. But that's about to change. You see, over here in my office, I have this shelf, and I've converted it into a table. So sometimes I use it for this. But it's a horizontal surface, so of course it becomes this. And on really fun days, I use it for things like this. But it's still a shelf, so there's this. No matter what I use it for, it's always in my way. The problem is that it's stationary and now it's become really heavy. The solution? Of course, it needs wheels. Now some of these shelves come directly from the manufacturer with casters and of course an attachment point by design. But this one didn't and I'm pretty sure I just can't go grab wheels and snap them on. However, this situation as an engineer is something I crave because I have SOLIDWORKS and a 3D printer and I tend to look at the world a little bit differently. Now to solve this, I need to bridge a gap. So I'm gonna measure up the parts that I need to fit to. Now I realize I probably could have done this up at the top, but there's a consistent spacing here with these keyhole slots because of the shelf height. So I'm gonna use these at the bottom here and measure those up. And I'm gonna use that to add a feature to make sure that this new part snaps on and stays in place. Now in orders of importance, this project is pretty small potatoes, but if you're a good engineer, you should be able to apply these concepts to pretty much any situation. The part I need is gonna be pretty basic, but it's empowering to know that you can control your destiny in almost any situation. Now I used to wander the aisles of the big box store, hoping somebody else had already solved my problem. But these days, I already know I have a solution just waiting to be tapped. Now I just want to be able to pivot the shelf out of the way. So I'm going to choose not only a large enough casters, but ones that spin. And I need at least two of them to lock. And done. We're not creating any exotic geometry here, so I can turn to either X-Design, 3D Experience SolidWorks, or SolidWorks Desktop to tackle this part. There's always a debate about when to add fillets. And since these are integral to the design, I won't need to suppress them at any point, so I'll bake them right into the sketch. All right, whole wizard to the rescue. And now the feature that mates to the L bracket. We'll put a little clearance in here. Since this is a one-off, we need to rely on our intuition. At some point, we'll cross the line from design impact to simply impacting the overall print time. Here, we'll make it tall enough to incorporate a small dimple to snap into the keyhole slots that we measured up before. All right, this looks great. Now at this point, I have to resist the urge to just lay out four of these bad boys and finish this job. But sometimes even my prototypes deserve prototypes. I'm going to print a quick one first, just to do a quick fit up. With my prototype off the printer, now I can do some fit checks on where it connects to the L bracket, as well as how the hole pattern lines up on the swivel of the casters. Then I can go back into SOLIDWORKS and easily incorporate any tweaks we need to make to the geometry. This is even a great time to show you those little dimples I made to snap into place. And now I can print the entire batch with full quality and strength. We're using Tough PLA for this run, which is a low temperature, high stiffness material compatible with all MakerBot methods. And since we've designed this to print without supports, there will be no post-processing needed. All we need to do now is assemble the casters. And snap them into place.
and this problem is solved. Like I said before, you can literally apply these concepts to so many situations and invent exactly what you need to get the job done. I hope this has inspired you to think of ways that you can use additive manufacturing to solve your design challenges and even create high quality, short run end use parts with ease and with a little bit of fun. Now, while I've got you, please hit that subscribe button and then you can join over 100,000 happy YouTube subscribers to the Go Engineer channel. And while you're at it, if you click that little notification bell, you'll be informed the next time we upload content. Until then, I'm Darren at Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.